Hello, my name is Thorin. I am 12. And this is my first order TIE Fighter Hangar. I built this for Bricks by the Bay and very nearly didn't get it to Bricks by the Bay, but luckily it worked out. So here we are. The hardest part about transporting it was actually breaking it down because some of the sections are very tall and so it's difficult to fit them into boxes. And one of the sections actually splits apart right in the middle of a conveyor belt and that's a very difficult connection to restore. In the Force Awakens Blu-ray disc pack, there's a making of, and in one of the talks that the, that's talking about writing the script, the director and the scriptwriter actually sit down on the set, and so there's a lot of footage of this set because that's where they're talking about the script. So we, I screenshotted some of those images and watched the movie sequence several times to get the correct proportions for the model. Down here in the corner there's a, a flame trooper who's taken his helmet off and he looks very hot. So uh, these transports, the two transports shown in the model have just returned from attacking Jakku and so some of the stormtroopers are still getting off. And then there's the main action over here, which is the stormtroopers who are trying to stop Finn and Poe from escaping in their TIE fighter, which has recently been stolen. And there's a lot. And then probably one of my favorite little scenes is the fixing of the transport right here. One of the transports has had its laser cannon just damaged and so they are, there are technicians and crew and an astromech droid who are all trying to fix it. So here there's a crate of tools and then the technician is handing the wrench up to the first order officer guy who's already got a drill and then they're right up here fixing the cannon. It's just a neat little scene because not everyone is going to notice that a TIE fighter is flying out of the hangar and blowing up half the equipment inside. So in the command center there is Kylo Ren is slicing up some control panels which is actually from a scene that occurs after what happens in the TIE fighter and then there are there's General Hux up there he is t he is commanding the the First Order officers who are attending the control panels and giving commands to the stormtroopers below who are currently engaged in battling the escaped TIE fighter. Lighting is a very difficult thing to incorporate because it's not, it's usually not compatible with Lego, which means that you have to design it with lighting in mind. And I, I was lucky when we were at my, when my mom and the rest of my family were at Ikea, my mom was buying lights for the, our Lego room because it was very dark in the alley where most of the bricks are kept. And she was buying these lights and I, and, and I said, hey, these lights look perfect for this tie hanger model that I'm building. And so we counted out the number of lights we would need based on the image of it that I had in my head. And luckily it turned out to be just enough and they turned out to be just the right size. So I think if you want to incorporate lighting into your model, you have to know where the lights are going to be and then build the model around them. I'd find something that there's a lot of concept imagery for. So scenes from movies, places from books that are well described. Anything that you are interested or passionate about and you want to turn into Lego is a great place to start.